Welcome to the show, my friends. It is not every day you get to take your bestie to work with you, so I'm pretty excited. In fact, this whole Hot Topics panel is going to be a blast, along with my friend and former King 5 co-anchor Natasha Ryan. We've managed to pull Mariners broadcaster Aaron Goldsmith away from opening day prep, so big yeah. thanks to that mm -hmm. for you and for the Mariners. And of course, New Day producer Susie is here. I just Yay. live here, so. She just lives here. She just has to be with I'm me. I'm just behind the couch. <laughs> Oh, it's a sleeping oh. bag back there. Ooh, already. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, let's. <laughs> Poor Susie. We love you so much, especially Sorry, because you went and got all of our favorite yeah. Easter candy. Mm -hmm. And so we thought, what's better for a hot topic than people's yeah. Easter candy favorites? I'll start because everyone's going to be like, oh, I love a Cadbury cream egg. I'm going to go, oh. I love bad. them. I know you do. Yes. I like They're... to bite off the top and slowly lick yes. my way. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, that's how you eat them. All right. Slowly, you just lick them. I just like Susie's this gagging. Them. I was like, oh. Where do you weigh in on this? I honestly don't think I've ever consumed one of these. <gasps> Try right now. Because they just look absolutely vile. What? I am yeah. appalled on behalf yeah. of all yeah. Easter yeah. candy makers. But, and I gotta say, you did not sell it particularly well <laughs> with the way that, that you consume one of these. But I'm glad that it brings you so much joy. It does, it brings yeah. you joy. I, guess. Wrong with that. I think when I was pregnant, I really, really liked them, and so they just kind of stuck around. What is your no, favorite? This this is the big leagues of Easter right, candy. Frozen. I like them frozen. Oh, oh that's, that's frozen. good. That's a good yeah. one. In the, the freezer. Thin, yeah. The thin ones frozen are really yeah, good. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. There's not enough in the thin. All right, what about you, Suze? Uh, well, so this is my second favorite. These are delicious. My first is a C's fudge walnut egg, just a small oh, one. Oh, They yeah. were closed. That's like... <laughs> Oh, so, Susie! But these we're gonna get you your these favorite. These are pretty delicious. What? What? Susie with you doesn't guys? do drugstore candy. Her. She's bougie. Mm -hmm. She's got to go to the candy store. It was pretty great though. That's a that's a Reese's <laughs> Pieces egg, because and that's the a, no, Reese's thin. peanut butter egg. Mm, yeah. The chocolate's thin, and there's a lot of peanut butter. Yes, that's my. Thing. Yes. The gap between the candy you described as, as C's and this <laughs> is like a low <laughs> ball player compared to like an all-star big leaguer. <laughs> Thank you. So, wow, nice you haven't that. even tried it. I don't. Yeah, I don't play it. I keep thinking he should try it right now. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna move these a little closer. I, I would actually like to see his face okay. bite into this if he oh. thinks this is is bad. This now, is I get made fun of. I love the old school Russell Stover's <laughs> candy that I used to eat with my grandma. And by the way, reasons also best candy on the planet. Okay, wow. Well, now you're, you're now you're calling it out because I think just some saying. people may say that that is well. Some people on our staff said Natasha, that is old candy. Yeah. Well. I the, have a little bit of that in me. The, I don't know what to tell you. The reason is the most underrated candy in America. Oh, I will agree. Yes, yeah. thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, it never look gets at listed. All these it never gets named. On my side. Oh, open up a bag and try not to eat yourself it's to the true. bottom of it. They're caramely. I have it. You know what's great? It still exists. Oh. So, oh yeah. So here's the thing. You take a bite of this. It's immediate, right? Like gone and yeah. done. A reason yeah. you gotta work for like the That's the true. full joy mm. of the candy. It's a little hard to chew. These. This this is such a poor excuse for. Chocolate. Oh, sorry. wow! Firing I know, shots. I mean, if you're using Russell your Stover is calling later. Wow. All right. Well, I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm gonna need to move us right along. <laughs> Let's talk baseball before we get in a fight here. Opening day is tomorrow, March 28th. This is gonna be so exciting. Uh, what are you looking forward to the most? Oh, I can't wait. I mean, every year this is such a, a time of anticipation, right, mm -hmm. for, for every fan around America. But for Mariners fans in particular, I think this is a team that really they should be incredibly excited about. It's a pretty revamped and overhauled team from the one that we last saw on the field last season for the Mariners. I think this will be the most talented team that Scott Service has managed. This mm -hmm. is his ninth wow. season in Seattle. Uh, the lineup is longer. It is deeper. Now, the Mariners uh, struck out a lot last year. They took some very proactive steps in the offseason to kind of rearrange the lineup, bring in some new faces that weren't quite so prone to the strikeout. I think there's still a good amount of power up and down the lineup. Uh, Mitch Hanniger is back, yeah. uh, which, who's, of course, a fan favorite. I'm, I'm really excited. Add to that, maybe the best pitching staff in baseball. No kidding? Ooh, Absolutely. Wow. Yeah. It's, a it's, any, any new faces we should know about? Uh, well, if we didn't spend so much time on candy, we could have gone over all the new faces. <laughs> there, there, are, there are a lot. Two. There are a, a lot. lot of them, okay. yeah. But the, the two most, I would say, maybe notable offensively, mm -hmm. uh, the Mariners have really shored up second base, which has been a kind of a, a, a problematic position offensively in recent years. They brought in Jorge Polanco. He's a switch hitting second baseman. They acquired him via a trade from Minnesota, the Twins. Mm -hmm. And Polanco has just been an absolute pro during his time with Minnesota. It's been his only previous organization. He's been a lifelong twin until now, former All-Star. Uh, he is a very
very, very good hitter. Uh, so he'll be at second base. And then the Mariners have also uh, took some pretty proactive steps to shore up their position at designated hitter. And we've seen in, in recent years the Mariners have kind of had a more of a revolving door at that position. But now it'll be Mitch Garver. There are two Mitches on the team oh, now. Oh, yeah, now. Uh, Mitch Garver is the newest. He won a World Series last year as a DH for the Texas Rangers. Uh, just a professional hitter, really controls the strike zone well, has good power as well. Uh, but he will be the primary DH for the Mariners this year and nice. will really help the lineup. This is great news. So last year, Amity went over mm -hmm. and she mowed the field. No, that was two years ago. Oh, two years oh. ago. Went over and mowed the field. And we're thinking maybe you I mean, want we had good again. vibes. There was good. Yeah. It's like we really started really well. We started, really well. We started the season They really made the well. playoffs that year. Okay. Good luck. So, just saying. So you're going to put your gloves on tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for she it. She is available for any mowing needs. All right, good just to know. Saying, uh, they right? haven't even let me do that. Hey, viewers, no. right in. I mean, I'm <laughs> just saying. I, well, I'm also here for the food because that's actually one of my favorite parts of, of Absolutely. going to the park. Is yes. like chowing down, mm -hmm. having a beer. Oh, my gosh. And we went and tasted the, yeah. all the, the foods that are coming out preview. There's the, the moto oh, pizza. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. Tacos. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Those look good, too. That's the first thing I do is I get nachos right away. Nachos? That's your, yeah. your go-to? Always the same. Always the same, yeah. Okay. Nachos. I'm a Mariner dog. So there, no. is, there is a new sandwich this year. Oh. That is Mitch-inspired. Is it? Oh. Yes. It's this take on a Mitch Witch sandwich, okay? <laughs> I love so, the name. I, Half of it is Mitch Hanniger inspired, and okay. the other half is Mitch Garver inspired. Oh, nice. So if anybody cool. knows anything about Mitch Hanniger, he is he's Captain America. Okay, like <laughs> nobody takes care of their body <laughs> better than Mitch Hanniger. So is it tofu? It's grilled chicken. Grilled chicken. Okay. Grilled. Okay. 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 So one half is the Mitch Hanniger grilled chicken and toppings, and then the other half, Mitch Garver, is this pulled pork and ham. Oh, okay. Oh, so yes. it's kind of like you get all the meats. You get the I best, like this. You get the Options. best in the world. Yeah. Options. Yeah. Options. And I actually saw on uh, Mitch Hanniger's uh, social media stream the other day that a dollar will be donated to Seattle Children's for oh, every nice. sandwich sold. Oh, so pretty even awesome better. stuff. I yeah. love that. And that's so clever. That who? Why is it? No one ever thought to do that. Like yeah. you always want to like. Borrow yeah. some your spouse's sandwich. I always want sweet and salty yeah. or savory so, at breakfast, so and you got to make the choice. Yeah. 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 yeah, I like it. I like it. I, I love enough. it. Um, are we? I'm excited to take the kids to the games. Um, I was telling Mitch, I was Mitch Goldie <laughs> before the show. Like we were talking about going to our kids' games, and that's you know. Yeah. That's a commitment now. We were at the we were at the ballpark last night till about mm, almost nine o'clock. Yeah. <laughs> Needed a roof. <sighs> yeah. Needed a roof. Yeah. I wish it had a roof. Everyone's freezing, yeah. shaking. Yeah. Kids are falling asleep in the bleachers. But it's it's a real commitment. Kid sports. Yeah. Yes. You yes, know, it you, is. How about when you're an umpire? <laughs> she she called me and I said. Is, this that one. A, is that a good choice? Is this, uh, yeah, this one is, uh, she was an umpire for a couple of her kids' games, right? And yep. maybe that's going to happen again. No, I don't think so. No, I, I've, I've <laughs> resigned my umping. Because you know what? You get into, like, <laughs> double A and triple A, and, like, the parents start getting uh -huh. I don't want to oh, fight. Yeah. yeah. I get oh, yeah. spicy, and you're, I don't want to yeah, fight anyone. You're going to get called out. Can I say that Italian yeah. women yeah. maybe yeah. should not be umpires? Yeah. I don't, I'm just, and I am one, so. Yeah. Yeah. Were you an up? Uh, no, but I was, I'm an Italian no, woman. I was here no, for it. Yeah, no. I don't how, know. how was the strike zone? Was it okay? It was fine. I actually wasn't. I was the field up. Okay. I preferred that position because I did not want to strike out my child, you know? And oh, then, that's the whole reason you do it. Right? No. That's the whole reason. <laughs> no, and the poor plate um, was so, God bless her, Lindsay. She, her daughter is crying when she gets struck out. She has this, and she, it was a horrible mess afterwards. And, it was just sad. But at least you yeah. were warm and got paid well. Yeah. I didn't get paid. <laughs> Free no, no, you are volunteer status all the way. And congrats <laughs> to all those volunteer parents out there coaching their teams because you are number one. So apparently, Washington ranks a number two for most likely to be abducted by aliens. Mm -hmm. This is according to a very um, well-respected study from Canada. In Washington, there have been 7,237 reported UFO sightings. Right. And that's how the study figured out that we're number two for abductions because we have so many sightings. So they are kind of drawing that conclusion? Right. If you have more, the more sightings you have, the more you obviously the more abductions, abductions you could have. I mean, <laughs> can I just say? Oh, please. Where did this study come from? It was, um, it was a very respected study from casino.ca <laughs> from Canada. Okay. Well, you're really selling Washington State <laughs> because we already have a high cost of living and the, you know, the whole Cascadia fault lines so now add abductions in. Yeah, and sure. Come on. 
Come on in. Come on in the Pacific Northwest. So there, are they just making up an uh, obscure number that for every sighting there is a this percentage of abductions? I do have oh. some math for you. Okay. Would you like to hear yes, it? Yes, absolutely. Sightings per capita are point zero 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 nine four, making it one of the high ali highest alien to human ratios. Yes. <laughs> I love the alien to human. Just just saying that statement, oh. I like. Um, by the way, we can't call them UFOs anymore. What, is, what are they called now? Uh, UP no something? I'm sticking with UFOs. Like, why yeah. wouldn't I stick with the UFOs? I don't know. I don't yeah. know. The government hasn't. Yeah. I just, why aren't we number one? I, I, Vermont? 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 What is that all about? And it's Canada that did the study about the U.S., which I also think is hilarious. You know, uh, producer Rebecca just said something in my ear that makes a lot of sense. Vermont, maybe there's less people, therefore the ratio of sightings okay. to people. <clears throat> see, it may, it's this false study. So in Texas, it's... They're, they don't have any. Well, problems. nobody's it's going to Texas. To, aliens are looking for intelligent life, Susie. Oh, okay. Oh. okay. This is this wow. is. Right. A I'm kidding. I am kidding. Topic. Just kidding. Sunny, my best friend is is from She's Texas. High She's on kidding. Cadbury. <laughs> All right. Um, so let's talk about candy. So we got these new pickle flavored Clawson jelly beans. Favorite kind of pickle. I hate a Clawson. Okay, let's try. What? I don't. I mean, I don't hate a Clawson. I just prefer. Really? I prefer like. Oh, a more bougie brand. No, just like a like more the, deli like pickle. Like, okay. I don't like the yeah. Okay, anyway, let's, let's try. Let's, let's I, will try I will try. Okay. I've offended Clawson and people mm -hmm. from you Texas. You can smell the pickle. Oh my god. Oh. That no. really is horrific. No, that's bad. I gotta tell you, I kind of like it. I do too. Oh. <laughs> I'm not against it. You I'm did. not either. I'm not eating a bag of them. But oh, no, but it's like a little treat every now and then. It, you know. Yeah. The impressive okay. thing. Oh. It actually gets worse the more you eat it. It does. Yeah. There's like a mint that hits you at the yeah. end, and mint and pickle. Wow. No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not having mint. Wow. I'm, I'm having a Reese's mint. Chaser. That is good. You know what? I changed my mind. I do love a Klaus and Pickle. No. I like them. And if you smell them, it smells like oh. you opened a pickle jar. Oh, my gosh. Don't you drink pickle juice sometimes, Tom? I all the time. I yeah. yeah, That would be like better. That. that would be better. By the way, fun fact, if you happen to be pregnant out there and you have morning sickness, if you get a jar of pickle juice and down it, you're good. Only Ooh. thing that ever worked. Wow, I never knew that. Yeah. You could have told me to that. To be clear, I'm not pregnant right jar? now. But yeah. Uh, or just like a table. So spoon. my daughters love it as much as I do. So sometimes we have what my cousin and I used to have pickle juice tea parties. And so my kids oh, wow. and I do it too. Listen. <laughs> you have a lot of dry pickles in your what? house, I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Jars full of dry Listen, pickles. Listen, yeah. I'm, I'm not apologizing for our affinity for pickle juice. I mean, There's I can't. No we love left. it. Oh my gosh. Can you okay. buy just the juice somehow? No, you I make mean, your own pickle juice? That would be you great. probably oh, could. Yeah. Susie what? could tell you how. Yeah. Why? Why not try it? it? Man, my breath you after this pickle oh. jelly bean. It. It's, it's something Do special. Do not have pickled jelly beans before you go on a first date. <clears throat> or do. There you go. Or do. It depends if you oh. like the date, especially um, if your date takes you to one of the following restaurants. So I saw this meme, which I couldn't even share the account that uh, posted this because it's got naughty words in it. But um, this is where women apparently are ranking bad first date spots. Cheesecake Factory, Applebee's, Chili's, Chipotle, and Olive Garden. Isn't Chipotle fast food? I mean, that's, yes. That's, that's casual. Fast okay. cash. Fast casual. Fast, fast cash. casual. I mean, is, does that mean cheesecake is the worst of those? I guess. I love cheesecake factory. You have an array of desserts. How could that be a bad first date? Well, minus yeah. the company, but I mean, as far no. as the restaurant. It might be like a test because you go to the Cheesecake Factory and that menu is so mm. freaking That's true. long. Overwhelming. Yeah. So Too maybe much. it's a test to see how fast you can make a decision. Yeah. I don't know. Or what you make, you know, and you're like, do you order off the light menu? Because they have oh. the two different menus. They do. They have lots of things. I don't know. I don't think. Nobody, I don't know. nobody enjoys ordering off the light menu. No one does. Yeah. No, no, that's true. Right. That's fair. But you know what? That's fair. If you don't know your date's food preferences, it's not a bad that's choice right. because right. there's one of something for everyone at the Agreed. Cheesecake Factory. Agreed. That, I don't think that's Cheesecake a bad one. Factory. Chipotle, maybe on a Chipotle, first date. No. Chipotle, yeah. no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Where did you take your wife on the first date? So I took my wife to a local pizza place. We were in college, and I. I overthought the whole thing. Like I, I was into her, <laughs> but I knew I knew that she wasn't into me, and I wanted to take her out for her birthday. Uh huh. But I wanted to dis like I got in my own head, oh. and so I wanted to disguise it like no, no, we're just we're just two friends oh, okay. getting pizza as oh, opposed okay. to like I really yeah. I really am I'm into, into you. you. And so I it was one of these places where you order and you pay at the register oh, right. and then you take a number and you sit down. Yeah. Very classy. And so yeah, very classy. Um <laughs> class A. And so <laughs> I was shocked you got I know, a second I, I, date. I, I and love so that. and so I I ordered mine and I paid for it. 
and then Wait, I got my number, <laughs> and then I was like, Heather, what, what would you like? And then... So she's wondering, I, do I have I made, I, made her, I made her pay for her own. You did not! Yeah. So I that's was, not a first... I, well, first of all, is... first of all, second of all, <laughs> I, I told you I got in my own head, and I overthought yes, the whole did. thing, and okay, I, okay. I was trying to not come across too strong, so I did the opposite, and I just looked like a total jerk. Where was the second date? <laughs> Uh, Chipotle. Uh, all I know is we have, yeah, we have three kids now, so it all worked out. It all Yay. worked out, you know? Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to wear that forever. Wow. I, yeah. I love that. Well, oh I gosh. wouldn't lead by his example, though. No, no, no but it's so, good to learn from. But it is it's good, good yeah. to learn from. He's helping everybody. There you go. Specifically teenage guys, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so That's excited awesome. to, to tune into you and listen to you through all the Mariner season. This is going to be such a fun season. Thank you for being here. Oh, thank you for having Honestly, me. Honestly, I know you're so busy over there at T-Mobile Park, so it means a lot to us. Thank you. I know you're super busy. And you know, I love you for driving in today. I would do anything for you, Aww. bestie. And I'm just behind the And she just, she just lives back living there. back there backstage. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, my friends, for spending time with us today. You can check our website for more of our content. You can always send us an email and share your thoughts. But most important, get out there and enjoy your new day. We'll see you next time.